Hi guys, welcome. My name is Noor Bastians, the proud owner of Physio Bastians and also responsible for your vitality program. Today I'm going to introduce a very special person. His name is Tom. He's a trainer and a physiotherapist and he's going to keep you fit. Good luck. <music> Welcome to the Brightlands Home Workout Videos. My name is Tom and I will be your personal trainer for today. I will guide you through a series of exercises that focuses on the entire body. So a full body workout to work on your goals. So we're now going to do a warming up of 3 minutes to get our heart rate up. We start in 5 seconds guys. We start with fast feet. So 1 minute we're going to do really small ankle pumps. Up, 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 up. Try to get your arms engaged as well. Don't go too fast. Should be your warming up. Tap, 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 tap. Keep it going, guys. So by the end of this workout, by the end of this warming up, I want you to be a little bit out of breath. Up, 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 up. So in 50 seconds, we're going to do high knees. Keep it going. So now high knees. I'm not raising my knees too high. You, you can see this as the next step in fast feet. So 30 more seconds guys. Come on. Keep up the pace. Get that heart rate up. That's the goal here. We want to prime our system for the exercises at hand. We're now going to do jump ropes. So rotate your arms. And small taps again, like really small ankle pumps. Imagine you have a jump rope and you're training to fight Rocky. Keep it going. Right, right, left, left. It should be mostly felt in the arms. Shoulders, upper arms, lower arms. Come on guys. So we're nice and warm. So, are you guys ready for the next one? That was the warming up. So now that we're ready with the warming up, we're gonna do something a bit more challenging. You and I are gonna work on that summer body. Let's go. This exercise is called the lunge. We're going to do four sets of 30 seconds with 50 seconds rest in between. So get yourself ready. We start at five seconds. We're going to start with our right side. So we're going to come up and up. There's all types of variations. You come up explosively like this. This way you really have to get up explosively. Up. But you can also do it like this. Not too deep. Not too deep. And rest. 
So I want to explain to you something. Um, you guys have to do the left side now. I'm going to stick to my right side because I have an injury in my tendon on the left side. So you guys do left now and I continue with the right side. So try to come as deep as possible. Do not touch with the opposite knee. So try to hover above the ground. So to get a 90 degree angle here, try to engage your core and push through the heels. So don't push from your toes, but from the heels. So second set, going strong. So now you guys do the right side again and I'll continue on the right side. I'm skipping left completely. So the hard variation is this one. And like I mentioned, pushing through the heels is essential for a good technique. You can feel it in your glutes the best most glute activation Woo! feels great so remember the next set will be the left side for you right side for me i have a an annoying injury in my left patella tendon so and the beginner variation or the the mildest one is just coming down slowly just relax or medium more through or advanced it's with the explosive clap so that was the lunge booyah this exercise is called the tabletop we're going to do four sets of 30 seconds with 50 seconds rest in between. So we start in five seconds. Guys, get on the ground, get into this position. And from this position on, we're going to tap with our left hand and our, our right inside of our foot. We're going to alternate this. You can do this from your uh, hips on the ground. That's the beginner variation. The slower you do this, the harder it gets. Oh, it's a pretty difficult exercise to really focus up. Whew. Ah. So, this engages uh, almost everything. The entire posterior chain to so really focus into it. Use that rest. So, there we go. Up. You can feel it in your elbows as well. You can do it from fists instead of your uh, open hand. Uh, or remember, do it from your... Uh, really try to rotate. You can do it from the hips as well. This is a beginner variation. Uh, try to really put in a rotational contraction from the core and we engage the entire body with this one so third set come on three four five six come on guys Eight, nine, ten. engage that core Oop. Ah. It's a tough one. The slower you do it, the harder it gets. Woo! So, we're gonna need this rest. We're almost there. One last set of this tabletop. Ah. And go. Ah.
me grab the inside of the foot. And, ah, wow, we did it. That was a tabletop. This exercise is called the push-ups. We're gonna do a different variation. We're gonna do four sets of 30 seconds for 50 seconds rest in between. So we start in five seconds. So we're going to place our hands on the height of our chest. We're going to start from the knees. We're going to place them a bit further apart. From the knees is the beginner variation and do not drop too low. Try to pinch your shoulder blades together and a bit downwards. Really contract from the pectoralis muscle or in other words the chest muscle. The deeper you go there is a medium variation. And relax. Stretch it out a bit in between. So we go again. So the, the hard variation or the advanced variation is from the toes. Try to keep the entire body in the plank position. And use that rest. Oh, you feel so strong after this one. But I know this exercise is kind of hard for everybody. So, really try to build it up. Really try to power through the, those 30 seconds. We really need to get stronger in this movement. So, we go again. From the knees, don't go too low. This is the beginner variation. Or you can do it from your fists as well, if it hurts your wrists. Remember, place your hands on chest height. So relax. What I mean, what I, what I mean with that is, a lot of people do it from here on shoulder height, but that's not too healthy for the shoulder joint. So. We place them on chest height and we go from there. This is the medium variation from the knees and a bit deeper. Up. Almost there guys, come on. Ah, lovely. Woo. That was the push-up. Bam. This exercise is called the good morning. We're going to do four sets of 30 seconds with 50 seconds rest in between. So, get yourself ready. We start in five seconds. We're going to lean backwards from the hips with our upper body fixated to a neutral position in the spine with a slight, and I, know, and I mean a slight bend in the knees and you feel a maximal stretch in the hamstring. And from that stretched position, you power through the hips forward and you punch or like pinch your butt cheeks together. So. What's most important is that you don't round out your lower back like this. You should keep this in neutral position like uh, arching your lower back, sticking your butt out. So we go again, up. So instead of like rounding out our backs, you keep it a bit arched. Keep the core engaged and move your hips backwards. 
So that was set number two. So try to find your rhythm. Really use that rest. Come on. Going strong. So 30 seconds again. There we go. Forward. Backward. Forward. And I try to come forward explosively. So from your uh, hamstrings and glutes. Punch forward. Great job, guys. Come on. Almost there. Ah. Woo. That feels great. Almost there. One more set. We are. So, last one. Hips backwards and punch forward. Punch forward. Ten seconds, guys. Really feel that stretch in your hamstring. And I mean a really a stretch, because every single rep, I can feel the tension. That was it, guys. You did well. This exercise is called the plank reach. I'm going to do four sets of 30 seconds with 50 seconds rest in between. So join me in five seconds. Let's go. Get in a plank position. Do this from the knees. This is the beginner variation. So rotate your pelvis forward. Now one arm loose. Beginner variation. Just make sure you lose contact with one side. Try to correct from your core. Really try to compensate as little as possible. And relax. So the medium variation is the same one, but then really reach with your arms. And the advanced variation, I'll show you now. So like this, forward. Help, try to reach and maintain a neutral position of the spine and the core and everything else. Don't allow it to rotate in. Wow, you can really feel that rotational pull on the core. Come on, guys. That's it. Wow. Oh, that feels great. I can really feel the pull on the core. So we're going to continue with the beginner one again. Beginner variation. So from the knees. And release from the elbow. Release one by one. Uh, try to have control over the movement. Engage that core. It should be felt most in the core, above the hips. Uh, almost there. Uh, lovely. Woo, one more set. This feels awesome. Ah. Ooh. So forward and reach. Reach. You can really feel the rotational pull. The body really wants to rotate outwards to aid with the movement, but by contracting the muscles in the core, you try to counterweight that. And that's it, guys. We did it. Great job. Woo. So you really gave it your all, huh? Since you're all hyped up and sweaty right now, going to have to cool down first before you get on with your day. So join me. 
So we're now going to do the cooling down session. We're going to do three minutes of 30 seconds uh, cooling down dynamic stretches. So let's go. We start in five seconds. So the first 30 seconds we're going to do a stretch like this. We're going to do some dynamic stretches. You're going to keep your legs extended or your knees extended. Up, up. To really grab the lower side of the. Okay, next one I'm going to be front and backwards swings. Just loosen up. Just loosen up. Nice. Just relax. Try to release the tension in the core, in the hip muscles, and the leg muscles. So, same principle from left to right. Just focus on releasing the High tension. Ah. So keep it going, guys. Knee pulls. So pull them. Try to give it an extra pull. Pull the knees towards your chest and give it an extra pull. Dynamic stretches has been scientifically proven to be more effective, way more effective than static stretches. So you grab the side of your, your foot and pull it inwards. So you feel your hip opening up. So now, one foot over the other and touch the inside of your boot. So with your hand, the inside of the boot, just tap it. Try to keep your legs stretched. should feel with every repetition a short stretch in your calves your hamstring ah, so that felt great guys you did it thanks for today guys that was a great workout if you guys have any ideas or suggestions for us please contact the email address down below and also know that you guys are more than welcome for a console at Physio Bastians. If anything, remember to work hard, play hard.